Welcome to Noisia Radio, episode 14, straight out of Groningen. Yes, yes. Starting it off with the musical Dung Beatles. Yes. This is the Upbeats with Doom. It's time to eat meat, hug dangerous animals, and rub yourself in mayonnaise. Upbeat's forthcoming EP on Vision, The Evolution, Part 1. This is um, our boy from Groningen, Jasper Scholma, former. This track is called Aleph Here. 
This is forthcoming on Division, Various Artists EP. Yes. I have high hopes for Former. He's been coming with some really cool music. Really pushing my buttons. Oh. Hello. Welcome to Noisia Radio. And at this moment, presently, you are listening to Face Mumbo Jumbo on Shogun. Throwback to the first time we played this, we premiered this here. This is Subtension High There off Invisible 19, which is out two weeks ago. And that also means now.
to Like Lions and Claim Too High off SoundCloud. It's funny because uh, Claim in Dutch... Uh, oh, no, it doesn't. Uh, this is a funny song because um, uh, it's sh- about... Is it, um, fu- is it funny? No, it's not funny. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> If you've ever smoked too much but that song is kind of what that can feel like yes and we have to shout out our third member martin for finding that track he loves the track it's his kind of thing yeah onto wilkinson featuring Reg 32 flatline in the remix by ivy lab nice When the ash burns right before the cigarette ends They ain't got the booze, I'll be like the wicked for them Bow. Growing up we loved women like Diana yeah. See how the time changed, even Harry loved Rihanna Selfie obsession, everybody grab a camera Still worth a thousand words, but you can filter out the banner Stepping up the ladder, snakes in the banners Wasting my young years, just giving you London grammar I killed every venue in a thousand mile radius You need a vaccine, boy, you killers couldn't play with us Screaming sounds like a horror film It's just me and my mind like this cannot be real I missed education I was listening to Lauren Hill Rolling round in them foreign wheels Duplicate this high You must be popping a lot of pills uh, uh, The revolution's gotta be filmed I'm a brave heart I wear the trousers and not the kilt nah. See I kill with my heart I aim for the heart I'm walking so sharp Sword out of stone, still I swing with my bars In the race to longevity, I feel to come last Yeah, I chill with the stars I sleep with them sometimes, we wake up on Mars That's just how we menage yeah. And I've killed every venue in a thousand mile radius You need a vaccine, man, you kill us, gonna play with us song playing is Dystopia by Ghidra on Bad Taste. Some very angry neurofunk business. Yeah, it's nice to represent this kind of sound, especially when it's done well. Making loud and angry music well is really hard.
up next guitars we've got neon light the towering inferno off their forthcoming album on blackout yeah i'm really impressed with uh with that album i think it's really cool that it kind of goes beyond the call of duty so to speak to do some weird musical excursions and i think that's always healthy yep Check one, check two, done, no, the done, no, you are in tune to the sounds of noisier radio. Look! <laughs> episode of Noisier Radio would be complete without Noisier Radio's own poster boy, Saruda. <laughs> <laughs> this is Greek Monster. Once again, it's awesome. You are now listening to the Noisier Radio. Radio. one happens to be that's so, somehow and drum and bass MCs always say that happens to be it's not a coincidence mate anyway <laughs> the next one happens to be also an Ivy Lab remix we got two Ivy Lab remixes it's not a coincidence in. mate it's not a <laughs> uh, it was fated that this week we got two good remixes by Ivy Lab so this is the Ivy Lab remix of Glimpse by Spectra Soul featuring D-Bridge.
Oh, the boy. Slumpy. Liquid Amber. that label liquid amber that's dj shadow's new label some good stuff on there right we all we have some more good stuff this is raw tech the hatch on his forthcoming album yeah really weird weird sh- i love this This track is so sick. Exclusive. Um, you might have heard of Bauer. He's made a really cool track. It's called So. 
Lucky Me recordings. Love this. Zero. <laughs> Next one, it's Dispatch, recordings, really good music, really good snare. When I heard this, I was like, yes, mate. This is Filth and Reckless, The Circle. This song is really good. Noisy radio. Take two very different things. Take shape and color. Question from user Squidge. Um, Tice, what's the craziest weather you've played an outdoor gig in? Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> it was way back in, uh, I don't know. It was in Canada. It was Motion Ocean Festival. Uh, the first time we played there. And I played during a thunderstorm, which is quite amazing because before my set, I was uh, wandering around the campsite and it was on a ranch in Canada. And I was walking by the river and there was a, a lonely, deserted uh, camp chair set up in the river, in the middle of the river. So I was like, okay, I'll sit down in the river and put my beer in the cup holder because in America, every chair has a cup holder, of course. And in Canada, it's not the same American Canada. So I sat in the river being bitten by mosquitoes and thinking thoughts. And then I saw a thunderstorm coming. I was like, oh, damn, is that going to be in time for my set? Because that might really mess with my set. So, of course, just before my set started, it really started to thunder all over. But I started anyway. And yeah, for a while it went all right. Um, but 
people started to slowly dissipate and leave and like look for a dry space and the dance floor slowly morphed into a mud pit and then it really started to rain and it dripped through the stage so I had a small roof overhead and there was water all over the CDJs in the mixer and I had to put my CDs and, and the, I, I had track lists on paper so that the paper was getting the ink was dissipating and it was all getting mushy so I had to put the CDs under the booth while the electronics were still on there of course and then the power cut out and then it, I mean it was lightning and thunder all through my set and then when the power cut I had to stop and then I realized I'd been standing in a puddle of water in a thunderstorm the whole time which was pretty cool and you live to tell the tale exactly All right, that was a long answer. Um, question two. Um, question from Nick from Smeta4. What is the process you guys use for determining if and when a track is finished? Um, uh, well, I think one fi the final thing really is being able to listen to it without wanting to press pause or stop and change something. Yeah, I mean, which it's, it's which is which, that's true, but it's hard because uh, when you listen to a tune for a long time, you get so deformed by it, you get sick of it, and then you start loving it again. And so sometimes, sometimes it's different. You're like, okay, I know I don't like this section, but I know I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true as well. I mean, but I, I guess the longer you work on a track, uh, if it's going right, then you also start to really get a clear idea of what the track has to be. So that changes you. That changes your perception of the song. But it's always, I feel like a track, especially the way I work, is very much a circular argument. All the parts reinforce one another and kind of reference one another. So if one part changes, it could change the whole thing. So you could be looking at the final stages of a song and think, hmm, maybe I want to change this. Find something you like much better that then kind of up upsets the balance of the entire song and makes you have to do adjustments, um, which can be annoying, but is also, I think, a great way to end up with a song that is really self-reinforcing and has a real sense of conviction to it uh, because I feel like that's uh, in some way I don't know if, 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 if you get this but for me that's a way to avoid it sounding like just so the elements that you hear in a drum and bass song or whatever song it is so that it becomes more than like all oh, right this is a drum and bass drum loop and this is a drum and bass bass line if you can make it more of a circular argument then it becomes more than just those things Um, that's how it works in my head anyway yeah um, and if that once that circular argument is, is is complete then actually some things don't matter anymore and you can just say no this is done or something it's much easier to then take distance from it but I guess like real really finishing something if, if in a, in a, in a scientific sense no you 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 just walk away from it at the right time yeah yeah and i don't know the feeling we have in the studio is so different from session to session like some tunes we finished and we all walk away like wow that's that was such a breeze the tune al almost ri uh, wrote itself it's so easy and sometimes it's such a painful struggle and you know you know you have a good tune and you know you It deserves to be finished, but oh, it's so hard and it just resists everything you try doing to it. And I don't yeah, know. It could become like a very theoretical exercise that you're only using your your logic and, and your debating skills to get something, uh, get a point across. And it's not really about the feeling anymore, blah, blah. Yeah. yeah. So it's different every, every time, every session. But in general... I don't know the the, the the tune tells you when it's finished. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, we, we we can like when we all three, all three of us, when we all three get the sense like this is done, and we know that the others have it too. Then then we then I really feel confident that something is finished. Yeah. Next question is from Pause That Thing. Hey guys, how many people are on your team besides you guys, Tice? Um, well, maybe we should have counted before we did question time. I haven't counted Use yet. Your fingers. So, there's obviously the three of us. Me, Nick and Martijn. Then, we have our manager, Walter Flapper. Then we have 
Thomas, who's our tour manager and is also uh, an artist manager. Then we have Eric, who does all kinds of things. He does finance and administration and publishing. Office management as well. Office management. Then we have Jaap, who's our label manager. So that's seven. Then we have Eric Visser, who runs our events. So that's eight. And then there's Frank, who's the studio assistant. Possibly. And he also produces the radio show, and that's why he was here a couple of episodes ago, because he's always here. Um, And then we have two interns, right? We have Abdi and the new guy. What's the new guy's name? (laughs) Well, we we don't know. They're looking at me like... uh, We we also have a workstation for uh, Farad to work. Right, uh, yeah, of course, Farad. Jesus. Sorry, Farad, but, love you. Uh, you have to keep in mind, this isn't all uh, our company. A big part of this is, is Walter's company, Flop yes. Management. Um, uh, Jaap works directly for us, and so does Frank. Um, and obviously, Walter, Walter's company manages us. But this is a, the, our team, and this is the, the guys that we are in a, a building with. We've uh, separated the spaces a couple of months ago, um, and so now it's more the studios and the office space separated, but it used to be kind of in one space. Yeah. But we still, you know, eat lunch together sometimes and, you know, hang out in each other's booths and whatever. So that's our, our team. And it's, I, I really liked that question, actually, because it's, it's to us, it, it, they're really important people and they are obviously quite invisible compared to us. But it's um, a big part of, of, of our, our way of working and the way that the reason why we are a success is because we've been building an infrastructure of good workforce, like good people that do their job well and and get space to you know grow and i think that's really important for us and we're really we're really happy with um with this definitely also really proud to like our little thing that we started in our uh, student bedrooms grew out to this thing that now employs like 10 people that's amazing i'm really proud of that i'm all when i tell that story i'm always really proud like yeah we employ I don't know, like six people beside ourselves. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Groninger! Yeah, Groninger shout out! <laughs> yes. This is the end of question time. Yes. Thank if you, you for submitting your questions. And do that again if you want answers to your possible questions. We have them here. And following this, we will play our old... We never finished. In this case, it is something we did finish and it became a track called Containment. But in this iteration, it was called Verzamel ze alle kamal, menal du madeel.mp3. This is our listener submission of the week. This is Deem with Sloppy. Noisy radio.
the next track takes the cake for best producer name. This is Skeeb Sullivan. And the track's called Realm. It's on SoundCloud. You can download it for free. And I suggest you do that because this is a good EP. This is Vibes. Skeeb Sullivan. Vibes. Taking you back to 98. This is the Bad Company remix of Fortran Sardines on Metro. This is some vibes. Old school. Neurofunk. This is what I think Neurofunk is. All all the stuff that we make. The the modern stuff. I don't know. To me that is not Neurofunk. This is Neurofunk. But that's personal. You can call it whatever you like. Now listen to this. It's not a coincidence, mate.
Subtract. Let them in. Yes, this is the last track of the week. This is Trenta Miller, Into the Trees, from The Last Resort, an album we played a lot. Really nice vibes. Yes, thank you guys for listening once again. I hope you are still having a great time listening to Noisia Radio on your Friday evening. Or, or Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Tuesday. And because, uh, you know, we're still doing it. Wednesday, still making the radio show, you know, Thursday. every week for you guys and for ourselves, but mostly for you guys. Friday, a week later. You know, so, uh, you know, thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you. you From know. the bottom of our hearts. Yes. Thanks and see you next time. This is Trent Muller, Into the Trees, Serenity Part 3 on Poker Flat. Bye. Bye. Bye.